Introducing first, out of the blue corner, presented in association with Golden Boy Promotions and Marv Nation Promotions, with head trainer Gloria Alvarado. She weighed in at 104.3 pounds, wearing gold, green, and black trunks. Her record, 30 victories with two defeats, nine of those victories coming by way of knockout. She is a three-division world champion, making her 14th world title appearance. She is the former IBF Bantamweight world champion. She is the former unified IBF and WBO light flyweight world champion. She is the reigning, defending IBF WBO Introducing out of the red corner with head trainer Dean Campos. She weighed in at 104.2 pounds, wearing blue and gold trunks. Her record, perfect. 25 fights, 25 victories, nine of those victories coming by way of knockout. She is a two-division world champion, making her seventh world title appearance pound for pound one of the best boxers in the world today she is the former wbo light flyweight world champion she is the reigning defending wbc wba and ring magazine minimum weight champion of the world from east Okay, you received the instructions in the dressing room, know what I expect? Good, clean fight. Ya recibieron las instrucciones con la pelea limpia. Golpe legales, legal punches, here for you, here for you. Touch gloves, go to both of you. One or set to los dos. Raul Caez Jr., the third person in the ring tonight. Christina Poncher and Michaela Mayer with you on the call from the Desert Diamond Arena in Glendale, Arizona. This one for all the belts at minimum weight. 10 two minute rounds start now. You see them both from their corner run straight to the center of the ring. That's the type of fight that you're gonna have anytime you have a women's championship fight. They're only 10 two minute rounds. Not like the men, we don't go three minute rounds. We don't have time to take that feel around or warm up round, warm up for a round or two. It's straight to it and straight to the southpaw stance for Estrada to start round one. Lucasta Valle with the jab. This is Sinisa Estrada's first fight back in eight months after having surgery on her right hand. No knockdown score there as they get tangled up. Sinisa and the fighter meeting said that her game plan here was to keep that space not let uh yokasta get in she didn't want to bang it out with her she wanted to use her reach and distance which she does well you can see her holding that space with her arms out and box and move on the contrary valle's game plan was to close that distance she said in the camp that she did round after round after round in the pocket sparring working wasn't allowed to hold just had to keep letting her hands go and just like that 45 seconds left in round one Neither fighter landing too many clean shots here in the opening round. Good combination there for Estrada. Yeah, you don't usually see Estrada hold the south nice. stance for too long. Couple nice left hands land there for Estrada. She's back in orthodox stance. And then back to southpaw. She throws a combination. And right back out. 
Doubling, tripling up on the jab now. Good overhand right from Valle. The best combination for Valle. The round comes in the last 10 seconds of round one. And already a cut above the right eyebrow. Flashes like that, and especially at these smaller weights. And not a great job on that cut as it's still pouring down blood. And that's the bell to get ready to start round two. As you didn't get too much time to... I'm not sure who their cut person is, but that was not good. Back in the southpaw stance to start round two is Estrada. Shifty side to side, classic Estrada style. Yeah, that cut is bleeding again. Again, it looked like they just put Vaseline on it. There was no other process of getting that cut to stop bleeding, which, which uh, the adrenaline, I believe, is what they use. And you know that's going to be target practice for Sanisa Estrada in terms of where she wants to land those punches, especially out of that southpaw stance with the left hand to the rear. Well, if it becomes a problem in the first four rounds and the fights get called off, there'll be a no contest. Don't even mention that. So I'm just saying it's <laughs> round one and there's blood oh. everywhere. <laughs> round two, here we go. A minute left in round two. Nice counter shot there with the left hand from Baye. You see Valle having a little bit of a hard time with, with closing that distance. Denise is doing a really good job at keeping her on the outside. And just skirting, dipping right under those shots there and changing the angle as she continues to change stances back and forth against Valle, who Coach G said they had plenty of orthodox and southpaw sparring. Anticipated that. Good left-hand slam there combination for Estrada. Estrada's always been a great hooker. You know, that's her, that's her bread and butter. She throws the right hook, she throws the left hook, she throws them both to the head, she throws them both to the body. I mean, she's, she uses both hands very, very well, and those hooks are hard to get away from. And actually left a lot of the Vaseline there on her eyebrow to come out here and start round three, but the more efficient, effective shots for the first two rounds we're landed by Sanisa Estrada. Yeah, you see that side, that shoulder movement that Sanisa has. I'm trying to slip the shots, and it works. Down to the body with the right hand. Back and forth, they start to bang at the center of the ring now here in round three. In the pocket is not necessarily where Estrada wants to be, but it's where Valle wants to bring her. It's a very unique style from Sunisa. She just shifts and uses her angle so well. Punches right off the angle. And Estrada wants to keep her at that distance. Get in, land your shots, use your footwork, and work your way out. And Yoka's trying to get in. She's trying to close that space. So you just don't know which direction Estrada's going. Good combination there for Valle. Whatever she can to kind of rough up Estrada on the inside, that's what she's going to do. You know, she's a type of puncher. Last two fights, she's got a little bit more economical with her shots, but Yocasta is the type of fighter that will throw 200 punches to land 30. They're trying to get her to be the type of fighter to throw 100 and land 50. That's what they want. Tighten it up and get more efficient. As the left hand again lands for Estrada. Finishes that combination with the right. You heard Yocasta's uh, coach, Gloria, in the corner saying punch at her chest and it's because Sinisa moves side to side she's very elusive she's not always right there in front of you so if you punch the chest the head can move the shoulders can move the chest doesn't move as much so she wants her to drop the shots right in the stomach so that it lands no matter where Sinisa's is going oh good counter shot landed there with the left hand from Valle back and forth they go at the 10 second marker here in round three much to the crowd's liking you know, hopefully that holds up for her throughout the fight. I want to see a fight show the true skill. I don't want anything like a cut to get in the way of this. It's only 10 too many rounds. And, and, I was, and I mentioned it last round about the amount of 
Vaseline left on the eye of Valle, and there, Earl Kaya's Jr. steps in and rubs some of that off. Oh, nice Good shots right on the inside from Valle landing. Sunisa Estrada with the left hand on the end of that combination, picking up right where they left off in round three. Oh, big shot lands again for Valle there, and Sunisa holds. Baye sort of finding her way yes. in, closing that space and getting a, through Sunisa's distance that she's trying to keep. Best start of the round for Valle. The first minute she's landed more punches in this round so far than she did in the total round of run and two. Nisa has always been, again, like I told you, she loves those hooks. Sometimes she got to drop that backhand right down the middle if she wants to keep Yoka off her. Because the, Yoka has got to be closer for her to land those hooks, but she can keep her at distance if she's throwing the, the one, two straight. Down to the body goes Estrada, and Rio Costa catches her again up top. Good straight, straight right hand, left hook from Sunisa. Blood dripping down the right side of the face for Vaya here at the end of round four, which arguably is her best round of the fight. <laughs> round five. See if Yocasta Valle can build up some of that momentum she had there in round four. Back and forth from orthodox to southpaw goes Estrada. Right now in the orthodox stance, shooting out that jab. Down to the body, misses with the lead left hand. But that's the exact combination that her coach wanted her to throw, down to the body and finish to the head. Mixing it up so that no matter where Yocasta goes, she's going to get hit with something. And Valle just looking to shoot that right hand straight down the middle. Oh, and connects there right off the break with a good combination for Valle. And there goes Estrada with the right hook. Down to the body with the right hand. Those heads are coming so close to clashing every time they get together. Body work from Estrada here. Nice counter left hand cook connects for Sunisa. Yocasta comes back with a few good counters, though, McKay. Really good combinations from Yocasta. You know, she knows that every time she's going to step in there, she lets four or five punches Ooh. go. Big left hand lands for Yocasta Valle. Sunisa's keeping that movement and circling well, but she's got to make sure she matches Yocasta with the combinations. If, if Yocasta throws four or five punches, Sunisa's got to make sure she throws four or five back. Estrada definitely got a taste of Yocasta Valle's power. She ate a clean left hand. Yocasta definitely looks stronger than I've ever seen her. Oh, and Sinisa looks a little bit unsteady for just a moment at the end of that round. I think uh, Yocasta's coach in the corner, Gloria, is, is right. You know, the pressure is working. She has to keep that pressure on. Keep Sinisa uncomfortable. Keep pushing her back. Every time Yocasta steps in, she has to throw that four or five punch combination and make it clear to win over each round with the judges. Good one, too, from Yocasta. On to the second half of the fight as we enter round six of this scheduled 10 round championship fight. Two minute rounds just fly by. Sinisa's got to keep doing just that. She's got to let the punches go. Let the combinations go before Yocasta closes that space. Sinisa was doing a lot more moving around the outside, switching, and a lot more movement in the first couple of rounds, which arguably won her those rounds. But 
her standing here and exchanging with Yokasa, Yokasa seems to be getting the better of it when, when they stand toe to toe. Well, you know, that's what Yokasa trained for. They told us. They said we trained to stand in there for 10 rounds and slug it out. That movement there, that body language from Sunisa Estrada is the rhythm that she had in the first few rounds of this fight. That's the style. That's what works so well for her, doing that and then punching off of it. Oh, Just nice like that. left hand lands for Estrada. As big as these shots have been, Yokasa Vaya is taking them very well. You know, Yokasa is closing that, that space so quickly. It's not really allowing Sunisa time to do the movements that she's used to. If I were her, I would abandon less of the defense and just let that so straight shots go before Yokasa is able to close that space. Keep turning the way she's turning. She's turning well, but let the straight long shots go before Yokasa gets too close. Like there you go, just right like there. that. Right, right on cue, Michaela. And then dips right into the right hand there from Valle. Connects with the right hand and then dips straight out. This is the movement that we saw early on. Much better round there for Estrada. Quick replay right here. You have Sinisa with that, that movement that she does so well side to side. Almost waited a little bit too long to punch off it because here comes Yocasta right over with the Comden Christina Poncher, Michaela Mayer here with you. Our co-main event tonight. Still to come, Oscar Valdez taking on Liam Wilson. Right now, we got a good one in the desert. Things are heating up here as all the belts at minimum weight are on the line. You see that unique style of Sinise is coming through again in the first half of this round. Here comes Yokasa, but she likes to keep those hands out, pawn with her front hands. Shift the shoulders, not let Yokasa know what she's going to do. I think Yokasa did the right thing there. She just said, I'm not going to pay attention to all this move, and I'm going to step right in with my combinations. By a little less on the output here to start round seven. Good one, two down the middle from Estrada. Out of that orthodox stance, looking to set up that right hand right down the pipe with the jab. Moves around and then shoots a four-punch combination, none of which really landed, though, there on Valle. Thirty shots to the body delivered from Estrada so far through round seven. Twelve for Yocasta Valle. Yeah, Estrada's always been a good body puncher. More so than, than Valle. And Valle needs body shots against someone like Sinisa, who's constantly moving and, and very elusive. Like I said, the head moves a lot, but the body not as much. Oh, a good combination of punches lands there for Valle. That's what Valle needs more of. She needs that consistently. She's got to step up with that, with that double jab and drop those combinations in if she wants to to win the, the rest of the world champion. But for now, we've got a close fight here, depending on what you like and how you look at it. We do have a close fight, and we also don't have a rematch clause in this fight, so, um, and it's a fight that maybe we would want to see it again. I mean, I'm, I'm fully entertained right now. Good one, too, from Sinisa to start out the eighth round. Round eight, a little bit of reaching there from Estrada as she looks to land a combination. Good left hand lands for Estrada there. And a counter left hand. I mean, Yocasta know, Valle has been really doing a good job and more efficient almost on countering than she is on when she shoots first. If you see her stepping into those shots, too. She's looking to hurt Sinisa. She's looking to catch her right on the chin with that big one, too. You know, there's a lot more pressure in this fight on Sinista Estrada. She comes in against her, her former family friend and someone who helped guide her career early on and the trainer of Yokosa Valle, a former promoter in Golden Boy Promotions, who now she fights for. Top ranked as Sinisa. She's undefeated. Valle's lost twice. And I think so far in what we've seen, she's handling it very well.
Oh, she wants to stand back there and bang. That was a shot. That was a good left hook from her backhand, from her southpaw position, as she circled out away from No Costa. And because she gives herself a little more space on her shots, she gets more of those oh moments. Because you see those shots cleaner. But yeah, Clint, Yocasta's had some great straight shots, but they're in real close. And those ones are sometimes harder to see. Yocasta does better from a close range, whereas Denisa has these long looping shots that are very clear to us and to the judges. Ten seconds left here in round eight. Nice left hand again connects for Estrada. Yeah, and she's feeling it as we get ready. Tanisa egging her on right now with her backhand saying, come here, come this way. As soon as Yokosa lets her hands go, she rolls out and comes right back. That's what I wanted to see from Tanisa. I wanted to see her take that role, take that angle that she does so well, but then make Yokosa pay. And that's what she does right here. Come back to the right hook to the body. as we get ready for round nine. Good shot with the left hand to the body for Valle. Right hand over the top. And this is where Valle has to start digging to the body. There's a lot of head movement and movement from Sinisa right now, and it's working. The close, close fight and the CompuBox numbers reflect that. In fact, Right now, they're practically even with the amount of punches that they throw. The only oh, difference see. is... Look at Sinisa right now with the bull. She's thro <laughs> Sinisa's thrown and landed a little bit more, but it is close. And back and forth they go. She wanted the bull to come out the matador. She's tagging the bull right now in these exchanges. Left hand connects for Yocasta. They're obviously both extremely conditioned. I think a lot of people were concerned about Sinisa coming off a, a layoff and an injury that maybe she didn't have the conditioning to go these rounds. But they are both extremely conditioned. Still throwing at a really high rate. You can see Sinisa's in her groove now. She's feeling herself. She, she knows when punches are coming. Yeah, I mean, she definitely looks to be more in a rhythm after maybe slipping in some of those middle rounds. And we've seen that in Estrada fights before. But she's been on this level. She knows how to close the show. All she's done is win as a professional. And right now, Yocasta Valle needs to let her hands go. There she does, and she connects. Left hand scores for Valle. Good end of the round for her. to just 15 for Yocasta Valle. She's landed 95 shots according to CompuBox, 81 for Valle. 34% of Estrada's power shots have landed, 30% for Valle. You heard Valle's corner saying, you have to go forward, you can't lose this round, just go forward and don't lose the round. But how? How are you going to win the round? I, I, you need a little bit more specific directions than that. I mean, well, she's got two minutes to get to work here. As Sinisa Estrada has had a string of some pretty solid rounds here in the latter half of this fight, but... Good counter right hand from Valle. That was a good exchange there from Valle, absolutely. Down to the body with the right hand, just misses. Estrada caught that shot. You can see how y Yokasa takes that little step back. Really good at taking that one step back and then coming right back with her own shot. Oh, nice shot landed there from Valle. One minute left in the fight. Good combination from Yokasa. She's doing her corner set. She's winning this round. Little of that side-to-side -side movement from Estrada, but not a lot of punches coming in this last 30 seconds from Valle. Good one, two, three. I mean, three. excuse me, Estrada. As she dips under those shots from Valle. Valle looking to walk out of here with all those belts tonight and 
throwing the punches in this round, Michaela, like she wants to take those belts away. Definitely. I mean, they both did. Last round, that's what Sinisa showed. And this round, this is what Yokosuka is showing. The championship rounds, round 9 and 10. They both had their rounds. 10 seconds left to go until we crown an undisputed minimum weight champion. The crowd is on their feet in Glendale, Arizona, as we go to the scorecards. I honestly wish we had two more rounds. I really feel like that would have made such a difference in this fight. As Gloria Alvarado become the first ever undisputed minimum weight world champion. Will it be the undefeated Tanisa Estrada or the battle-tested Yocasta Valle? Ladies and gentlemen, here inside Desert Diamond Arena, big round of applause for these two incredible warriors going the distance. After 10 rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. Steve Morrow, Dennis O'Connell, and Robin Taylor all score the bout 97-93. For your winner by unanimous decision, and now the undisputed minimum weight champion of the world.